boys ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome back to the blaine kx youtube channel today we're going to be ripping around on the old dirt scooter again oh boys what a beautiful day it is huh i noticed in my last video my camera angle was a little bit off so let me pull up the gopro app and make sure that my angle is right all right that looks better do some ripping today i appreciate all the comments in my last video about doing the learning how to wheelie and let me show y'all where i'm at with that after those comments so if you remember could not do any kind of wheelies at all was really struggling with it couldn't really get the front of the bike up you know and now this is my first one of the day so bear with me we're doing it boys i don't know how much it looks on camera but i figured out the leaning problem it was due to people were saying i was putting too much weight on one side if that was either the bars or my pegs so i was putting too much weight to either or side that's why i was leaning over but now i mean i know it still ain't great i'm still having to pop the clutch a little bit but we're getting her up doing better with it i appreciate all the comments i do read every single one of them and y'all were overwhelmingly helpful with it so i really appreciate it i feel like my content's getting repetitive i hope that it's not i hope that no one thinks that but me but sometimes it feels like what i'm doing is just kind of getting repetitive you know so let us go over here what do y'all say we go hop in the cow field squirrel can you see him squirrel yeah Man, I need something crazy to happen, like catching trespassers or something. Something for some good clickbait, you know? I'm thinking I'm definitely gonna go make a four-wheeler video after this. It seems that no one really likes the three-wheeler videos, which is fine, you know? You live and you learn. Three-wheeler videos don't do very good. Fishing videos don't do good. Dirt bike videos do overwhelmingly good. Look at the cows. Where are those bully? He don't want the smoke. Actually, I don't want the smoke, but look at those little guys. So those are all, I and mean, then what, there's two, four, five, six. Those are all this year's babies. That happened in like the winter time, early spring. They, they don't let you pet them. They're not a fan of being petted. Majority of our cows. <laughs> I really wish I had friends that I could ride with. None of my friends have dirt scooters. I say dirt scooters, y'all know what I mean. That's just a really bad habit of calling it a dirt scooter, but... Ooh, that was a lock. Whoa! Dirt scooter. There's a little hill that I hit here. There it is. A dirt bike gets great gas mileage and I could easily blow through a whole tank and just the, I don't know, you could probably go a whole day on one tank. I forget there's this thing called a clutch. Oh. And I also forget there's this thing called neutral. Both of those are really helpful when it comes to riding, you know. Yikes. Super dry, we really need rain. You know what? It's also about time for wild blackberries. Looking forward to that one. What is back here? Can I get down this? It almost looks like it was a old. Looks like it used to hold water or something. See, there we go again. Neutral. Little story time for y'all. COVID count, I get furloughed off work, so I get laid off basically. Man, I get some fat, fat unemployment checks from COVID, right? I'm like, you know, I'm sitting at home, I'm bored, nowhere's working. This is like middle of COVID, like everything is shut down besides like grocery stores. And like grocery stores are fully stocked at this point and with employees, because that's the only place that's open. Whatever, so I'm chilling, COVID. At this point, I'm still living at home, so I don't really have many worries about anything. 
bill wise let me know i want a dirt bike start looking around can't really find anything originally i was wanting a honda like 125 big wheel because i didn't i didn't want the 110 or like the 125 honda or like the 140 kawasaki that was like the smaller frame because i'm tall i'm really too tall for this bike but that's a whole nother thing so i'm wanting the bike can't find anything i finally find this bike in stock and a dealer about an hour away so friday i went to the bank pulled out a thousand dollars cash just for a down payment to put on it and me and my dad drove up to this dealer start looking at this bike you know and keep in mind i have never rode a dirt bike closest thing i've ever rode is a bicycle i've also had never really rode anything with the clutch like fuller wise I, actually i take that back i drove a raptor 400 450 once one of my buddies has one i drove that literally once so i never really driven anything with the clutch had no clue how to ride it got there looked at it bought it salesman asked me like, you know you want to test drive it or anything and me being never ridden a dirt bike before i'm like yeah so i buy it we load it up we get it home and i start learning and man all i gotta say is poor clutch i don't know how i couldn't do it because it's really not hard to learn how to use a clutch on a dirt bike or anything else but like i was getting it you know and it would die like that whatever and then now look at me three -ish years later still a rookie on it but as i've said in a lot of my videos i grew up running foilers so this was a whole new concept to me none of my well a couple of my friends had dirt bikes but I never rode them. They were big, two strokes, and everything else. And I wasn't comfortable hopping on a big, I don't know, 250 two stroke. I think one of my neighbors actually had a, he had a 450. I think it was a Honda. That thing was insane. Like, I'm talking that bike wants to spin in a circle when you throttle it, if you just punch it. Like, there is no way I was riding that, you know. So I bought the 140, did a lot of research. Seemed like it was a really good platform to learn how to ride on, and it has been. But now, I'm not selling this, don't worry. But now I'm to the point where, you know, I almost need a bigger bike. Something with more power, for sure. So y'all definitely let me know what I should get. I love Kawasaki, but I know you can't go wrong with the Honda. I know Honda makes a great 250. I think Kawasaki makes a 230. I don't know, what should I get? I definitely don't want a 450. 450 is too much. Uh, my allergies are going to kill me. I have such bad allergies and look what I'm riding in. She's rutted. These are some old trails. These are all from when I used to live at home. So I'm kind of surprised that they're still rideable, but I guess it just shows how much I rode on them back in the day. Yeah, that didn't go far. Ugh, come on girl Really oh that felt good bounce it over Well, that's sticking my chain Hey, I got a bad feeling about this Oh boy. Yikes. I thought that went up into the woods through here. I don't know where it was at. Was it right here? Maybe it was 
Oh, my GoPro, I thought it died, but it actually overheated, so. Sorry about that. It's good, because I'm overheating too. You know what that means, right? It means we gotta cool her off. I guess the wind will cool it off, I don't know. The media mod probably holds a lot of heat on it, is my guess. We'll let her eat right here. I don't know if y'all can hear me talking. The wind noise, at least in my helmet, is so loud. Bird. I have no clue where I'm going. Hey, that person has a slingshot. I'm gonna check my gas before I win, but it's okay. Were, were they waving at me to stop or were they waving at me to rev? I don't know. My guess is they're just waving at me to wave, right? Or do those people need help? Man, I'd love to have a motorcycle. Be so fun. RIP my tires though, that's for sure. Yeah, like I said, I literally have zero clue where I'm at right now. We're gonna go left. That's a big old house. In the middle of nowhere. Gotta watch out for potholes. You know what I need? I really need some riding gloves. Lizard! Do you see that lizard? Yeah, I really need riding gloves. Everybody's looking at me. I don't know if it's because I'm on a dirt bike or if it's because of y'all watching them too. It's okay, not many people of you are gonna see them so well. Hey, the offer still stands, thousand likes, and I'll take the three-wheeler in the creek. Had a nice ride. They didn't see any cops. Not that I don't think they could really do anything anyway, it's just a county road, but heck yeah. My bike definitely needs to cool off now. She is hot. Hot, hot, hot. But anyways, thank y'all so much for watching the video. It really does mean a lot. I enjoy reading all of your comments. And it just is very pleasing to me to see that people actually like watching what I post. It really does mean a lot. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all take care. Have a great night.